Recruiting is in progress. We're seeing folks trickle in. Uh, just a heads up right now, we have four people in attendance and you can go ahead and take it away, David. Okay. The appointed hour of six o'clock has been reached. It's actually 6.01. I welcome everyone to this meeting of the Amherst Zoning Board of Appeals. My name is David Sloviter. At the request of Steve Judge, Chair of the Amher Zoning Board of Appeals, who is unable to make tonight's meeting, I call this meeting to order as the acting chair. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Additionally, the meeting recordings may be viewed via the Town of Amherst's YouTube channel and ZBA webpage. Please indicate you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you have joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your telephone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when you have finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the Zoning Board of Appeals Chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. In accordance with the provisions of MGL Chapter 40A and Article 10, Special Permit Granting Authority of the Amherst Zoning Bylaw, this public meeting has been duly off advertised and notice thereof has been posted and mailed to parties of interest. We will begin with a roll call of the regular members of the ZBA. I'm David Sloviter and I am here. And our associate ZBA members, Sarah Marshall. Here. And Hilda Greenbaum. Here. Also in attendance are Rob Wachilla, planner and ZBA staff liaison, and Christine Brestrup, planning director of Amherst. The Zoning Board of Appeals is a quasi-judicial body that operates under the authority of Chapter 40A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth for the purpose of promoting the health, safety, convenience, and general welfare of the inhabitants of the town of Amherst. One of the most important elements of the Amherst zoning bylaw is section 10.38. Specific findings from this section must be made for all of our decisions. All hearings and meetings are open to the public and are recorded by town staff. Tonight's agenda roll call, which we have already done. Minutes, approval of, minute, of meeting minutes from April 18th, April 25, and April 30, 2024, followed by a public hearing. For ZBA FY 2024-17, Jonathan Clayt, request for a special permit under sections 6.3 and 5.10 of the zoning bylaw to create a flag lot and to construct a single family house on the premises at 47 Red Gate Lane, map 11D, parcel 166, R-N neighborhood residence zoning district. Also in the public hearing, ZBA FY 2024-18, Mathena Morrissey, request for a special permit under section 3.3211 of the zoning bylaw 
to convert a single family dwelling into a non-owner occupied duplex with a requested waiver from the sign plan at 180 North Whitney Street, map 11D, parcel 261, R-G General Residence Zoning District. Also on the agenda this evening is a public meeting, a discussion, and then the general public comment period, followed by other business not anticipated within 48 hours. So the first order of business tonight is approval of meeting minutes from April 18, 2024. As everyone on the board had a chance to review the previous meeting minutes. There's, all right, I see nodding. Good, nodding is good. Are there any comments or edits that are needed for the minutes? Head shaking is, is prevailing here. I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes from January 17th, 2024, unamended. I think you mean oh, Thursday, April 18th. 18th. Yeah. It says January 7th. That's oh, a typo that's a, on my end. That's a yeah. typo. And that <laughs> is pretty clearly Rob Wachilla's fault. <laughs> so yeah, thank I you, the, thank you for the catch, you. Sarah. And shame, shame, Rob. <laughs> so I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of April 18, 2024, unamended. Do I hear a motion? Yes. I, I will second it. Right. We have we, we have a motion and a second. This vote requires a roll call vote. The chair votes aye. Ms. Marshall. Aye. Ms. Greenbaum. Aye. The ayes are three, the nays are zero, the motion passes. Next, approval of minute of meeting minutes from April 25. Has anyone on the board? Everyone on the board has had a chance to review the previous meeting minutes. Um, Ms. Marshall. I have reviewed them, but only one of the three of us is on the panel. So I suggest tabling these minutes for a, for a meeting of that group, or at least where three of the people who were present can vote because I wasn't there and Ms. Greenbaum wasn't there. Okay, and I was there, and I guess I I can't I I can't move second and vote for everyone. Is that appropriate, Rob? That's fine. Yeah, and um, I'll just add it to the list of minutes that we do have to approve. I am caught up with all the minutes, by the way. Okay. We just have to find the meeting times to approve them all. So that's fine. Okay. Um, one down, one not tossed away, and I guess we got one left to consider. One left. Yes. Uh, this is the approval of meeting minutes from April 30, 2024. Has everyone reviewed those minutes? Okay. Are there any comments or edits that we feel are needed? No. Okay. I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes from April 30, 2024. Do so I hear a motion? Moved. So, so moved. moved. And Hilda seconds. This vote requires a roll call vote. The chair votes aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. Ms. Greenbaum? Aye. The ayes are three, the nays are zero, the motion passes. We move now to public hearings. ZBA FY 2024-17, Jonathan Clayt, 47 Redgate Lane. Due to only three members being able to attend tonight's meeting, the ZBA will be unable to open and hear the public hearing on ZBA FY 2024-17, 47 Redgate Lane. Statutorily, four members out of the five are required to be in attendance in order to hear a special permit petition. The only action the board can do with three sitting members in attendance is vote to continue the hearing to a future date. The date proposed by both staff and the chair, Steve Judge, for the continued hearing is Thursday, May 23, 
2024 at 6 p.m. I would entertain a motion to continue the public hearing for ZBA 2024-17 to Thursday, May 23, 2024 at 6 p.m. Do I hear such a motion? Moved. Moved. Second. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Marshall. Do I hear a second? Yes, second. Wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Greenbaum. Uh, this... You must Does this require down. a roll call vote? It yes. Does. Okay. Yes. It's not down here. Okay. It's in the next page. Um, the vote, this vote requires a roll call vote. The chair votes aye. Oh, it is on there. I'm sorry. <laughs> the chair votes aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. Ms. Greenbaum? Aye. The ayes are three. The nays are zero. The motion passes. The next item. ZBA FY 2024-18, Mathena Morrissey, 180 North Whitney Street. Due to only three members being able to attend tonight's meeting, the ZBA will be unable to open and hear the public meeting on ZBA FY 2024-18, 180 North Whitney Street. Statutorily, Four members out of the five are required to be in attendance in order to hear a special permit petition. The only action the board can do with three sitting members in attendance is vote to continue the hearing to a future date. The date proposed by both staff and the chair, Steve Judge, for the continued hearing is Thursday, May 23, 2024 at 615 p.m. I would entertain a motion to continue the public hearing for ZBA FY 2024-18 to Thursday, May 23, 2024 at 6.15 p.m. Do I hear such a motion? Ah, yep. Hilda's head is going. Hilda moved. I'll second. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> we have a motion and a second. This requires a roll call vote. The chair votes aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. Ms. Greenbaum? Aye. <clears throat> the ayes are three, the nays are zero, the motion passes. And Mr. Sloviter, before you yes. go on, I do want to make one announcement to the attendees, um, especially those who showed up for the 1A North Whitney Street hearing. There is nine people in attendance. I'm assuming most of them are, are here for that hearing. Um, many of you submitted public comments to me and Ms. Spreshtrup directly. I just want to let you all know that those comments have all been organized and they're going to be included in the meeting packet for the May 23rd hearing. So everything you have submitted to us previously, you know, we, we acknowledge everything and we're going to put it into the board's meeting packet for that future hearing date. So any comment that you provided, the board will acknowledge and, and be able to review it beforehand. I just wanted to make that announcement. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, since there, we will skip the public meeting and the discussion because there is no um, public meeting and there's nothing to discuss. <laughs> so we will move now to general public comment. Are there any members of the public that wish to give public comment on matters not before the board tonight? Please indicate so by using the raise hand function or by pressing star nine if you are on the telephone. I don't see any raised hands. Do you, Rob? Nope. We have nine people in attendance and no hands raised at the moment, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, therefore, we will move on to other business not anticipated within 48 hours. Um, Rob, is there, do you want to update the board on the upcoming schedule or is there anything else you want to bring up? Sure. And I guess me and Ms. Breshrup can kind of tag team on this one. So I'll go first. Um, so the two hearings that you just had tonight were continued to May 23rd, um, 2024. Uh, Ms. Breshrup can go into this a little bit further, but um, I was told that because the members in this meeting tonight voted to continue it, you don't necessarily have to be on that May 23rd panel. So we can do a panel of just the full members if they're all available. But um, if it so happens, we might have to rely on an associate to serve, then we will reach out to 
either Miss Marshall or Miss Greenbaum. I know Miss Marshall, you're busy with the school committee now, so I'm sure your schedule is pretty full. Um, and then also on May 23rd, we have a third hearing that's been advertised as such for May 23rd, uh, 395 West Street, which is for a mixed use building with two office spaces on the first floor and nine residential units. Um, Amherst Office Park Complex is where it's gonna be located. And then on June 6th, we have the continued public hearing for the Shootsbury Road Solar Project. And as of right now, we have nothing else scheduled after that, but we are anticipating about two to three more applications, I would say in the June, July meeting range. And it's also my last meeting as a town employee with the zoning board. So, and Chris, well, did you want to- As Thank we you. said, well, I am. To life. Uh, Ms. Breshoff, did you want to add anything to, to what I just said? No, I just want to thank Rob for all the work that he's done for the Zoning Board of Appeals. He's been I think wonderful. He's been really wonderful. good, very well organized, and um, very knowledgeable, and uh, thank you, Rob. And he deserves the promotion, but it's a huge loss. Yes. So <laughs> and, enjoyed and, working with you, and yeah, we'll miss you. <laughs> and good and why, why is the... Um, his swelling while I look at him. <laughs> <laughs> And wise beyond his years, and I have decided not to take back all of the nice things I said about him just because he's leaving. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I was worried. You're welcome. I was worried for a second that you, you were caught me at take a good back. Yeah, you caught me at a good moment. <laughs> David, just remember we can attend the public meetings if they're virtual, and you know. Oh, where they're he's not. headed, yeah, and, they're not, and, and, they're and all... annoy him like crazy. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. That's maybe the most valuable thing I've heard today. Excellent. <laughs> So don't don't be shocked, Rob. Uh, they don't have nearly as interesting meetings, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just Rob, while while you brought it up, I am available on the 23rd. Okay. And um, I'm already on the sixth. Okay. So so Miss Breaststrup will um be organizing all the meeting packets and stuff from now on. So um you know if you don't hear anything over the next week with like agendas meeting packet panel selection all that stuff just reach out to chris and uh okay. she'll, she'll square it away for you guys all right i'm not going anywhere chris i'm not okay going. good we'll right, we, know, we know we know where to find you know where to find me we know where to find hilda and and chris so we'll be fine all right that brings us to the end uh Adjournment is the only item left. I would entertain a motion to close the meeting at 619. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Okay, second. thank you. And we have a motion moved and seconded. This motion is not debatable and does require a roll call vote. The chair votes aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. And Ms. Greenbaum? Aye. The vote is unanimous. The motion passes. The meeting is now adjourned. So thank you all, especially Ms. Greenbaum, for your